Today we're at the site of this abandoned gas station that's called Stag Convenience Corner. They have this car wash as well as this convenience store over here. So let's see what is left right now. And here we are. As you can see, you got the Stag Convenience Corner signage there. You can still see the label even though they clearly have painted it. And panning down over here, we got the actual convenience store building and the car wash right behind it. Let's go ahead up to the door. Now, recently out here in the parking lot, I know a, a City Flavors, a shaved ice place has been setting up shop over here. I saw another one that set up here in uh, Google Street View too. Let's take a look into this main door. Yeah, I can't see how much you guys see it so bright. <laughs> it's sunny today. I can definitely see some signs up there. Um, definitely can see some prices. Got like two fifty nine. dollars Got the counter with some stuff on it. Got some cups or something there. Even got an old Pepsi cup back there. The original station's building was built in 1987, the same year that James R. Fleener, a Cheyenne resident since moving to Cheyenne in 1971, founded Stag Enterprises, Inc. From my understanding, Stag Enterprises included three gas stations. The one we're at today, the Stag Oil Co. on Pershing, and allegedly one more on Lincoln Way, although I've been unable to find confirmation of this. It is also unclear to me whether Stag Convenience Corner is original to this building on Yellowstone or if the building was previously occupied by some other gas station, so if you do know further detail about the initial history of Stag Convenience Corner or Stag Enterprises, I encourage you to share your knowledge in the comments below. Let's take a look over here. You can see some boxes set up there, got a cup there, you can see a sink and some of the coolers will get be able to get a better look from this side over there. It's like back over here they removed some concrete or something. <laughs> Whole chunk of just dirt. You can see the car wash over there. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Looks like they put some kind of barrel there. I wonder what's in it. There's a better look of the sinks and stuff. Sorry, I blanked for a minute. Coming over here to the car wash. It looks like they got an automatic car wash right here. You can see the prices. Over here they got a door. Now there is a fire in here a while back, so that's why this is all black. I do, fortunately, know more about the later history of Stag Convenience Corner. This station built a car wash on the neighboring property in 1996. Eight years later in 2004, the station building itself received an expansion on the south end of the building. Unfortunately, between 2011 and 2018, both Stag Convenience Corner and Stag Oil Co. closed for good. Sadly, it is about halfway between these years on November 17th, 2014, that James Fleener had passed away, possibly partly the cause of the closures. We got a dollar bill changer right here that probably doesn't work. Then over here we got some of the stalls. There's three stalls where you can do a manual car wash. Here's the gun for you to squirt your water. So they got the mats there, got some signage there and the controller here. Um, I see a price of $2 on that. And over here they do got the control for the door. And both of these are basically the same. There's plenty of birds remains in these because birds have been breeding in here for years now. You can see some more of the signage and also more instructions for how to wash. Some more mat holders and another gun right there for squirting your car. Got a couple of planters out here on the entry area to this. Then we got one more that's just an absolute cluster. Looks like this one still has the broom installed. Look at that. I definitely wouldn't use that broom though. <laughs> Jeez, look at the top thing here that says car wash. That has definitely seen better days. Interestingly, in 2018, future life for the property became uncertain. Plans were submitted for a new Pizza Hut to replace the store portion of the station, likely relocating from the existing Yellowstone location. However, the plans ended up falling through. In 2021, Chase Bank submitted plans for Cheyenne's second Chase Bank location. This time the plans actually held in place, with the entire Stag Convenience Corner being fully demolished by the start of April 2022. So yeah, this place did actually catch on fire, uh, I believe it was last year. There was an article about it, I just can't find it again. It wasn't called Stag Convenience Corner caught on fire, it's called something very obscure. So hey, if you happen to know of that link, Share in the comments so we can see it again because I can't find it. <laughs> Coming back around over here to the other side of the car wash, you can see the exit to the automatic one. You can see a hole there. Uh, probably got boarded up after the fire, I think it was. You can see that there's a chair just chilling and you can see these signs over or these lights over here. There we go. So we got these wet towel things here. Uh, we got a, a sign there that's covered up that I need a shot of, but I can't get it today. 
Yep, there's some of the other stuff for the car, I guess for cleaning the inside and stuff. Got some dead tree branches here, and we got the vacuums over there, which we'll go ahead and take a look at. All right, we got a vacuum thing here. Uh, garbage can here that looks like it's filled with shit. I love this. Someone took a pant leg and put a spring inside of it, made it look like a dead leg. <laughs> and then you got this thing that's hose hang here. On the other side of the vacuum and one more just like it over here. Try to avoid the deep spots of the snow. Not much different. Looks like you would put in some quarters for it. It's like some kind of control box here. Got what looks like a garbage area right here. I would like to give a special thanks to my patrons who pay me to search obscure things on the web to find and share the history of various places and establishments. To see another abandoned gas station, please click the video on the screen now. Until next time, peace out.